Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Jesse and I am back for another Low Vision Spotlight game video. And yeah, this time we're looking at a weird one. We are looking at a rhythm game uh, called Trombone Champ. Trombone Champ. It has kind of taken the internet by storm the last few weeks. And I just caught on to it here the other day. Um, I've covered a few rhythm games on the channel so far you know i've uh was it uh, double kick heroes uh, uh metal hell singer recently of course and i think i've probably even done a couple other ones uh but this is unlike anything that i have played i mean most rhythm games yeah you know they're either techno or edm music or you have things like your guitar hero rock band or you know the, the rock and metal genre which is my jam nope trombone champ we got a lot of public domain music and stuff like that so there's no copyright worry here for you know recording and releasing this video which is good and this game definitely does not take itself too seriously of course it doesn't um and it's all the better for it um it's kind of you know i never played in band in grade school, high school, they're like, oh, you don't know, you, can read the, you can't read the sheet music, you can't keep up, blah, blah, blah. So I never played a brass or woodwind instrument, that kind of a thing. You know, I wanted to play drums, but that's another story. Um, but yes, we play the trombone, and when you start the game, it kind of starts up with this, you choose your save slot, and there's like this weird kind of like self-serious little animation story that's like, you must become the trombone champ or something. There's like, I don't know, some kind of like dark sinister thing going on. I don't know. Um, but you're playing these these public domain type songs. And the controls, I will say, accessibility wise, are quite simple. But you, you have to be pretty darn accurate, though. Um, all you do is you it uses the mouse and the keyboard. I don't know if, uh, hopefully they're going to add controller support later, but they recommend keyboard and mouse. You can play it just with the mouse. You basically, you drag up and down uh, to raise and lower your pitch. And then you click or you click and hold to uh, tap or you sustain notes. You also have notes where if you're sustaining the note, you hold and then you drag up and down. So you can go, you know, that kind of up and down type of slide to your note. Um, and that's really it. That's it. Um, but what's really funny about this game is it's almost impossible to be perfect unless you're just really, really good. And it's, you know, it's like when you're learning, though, you hear kids all the time, you know, they're learning instruments in school and, you know, they're just totally off key and it just sounds like you hear, there's a lot of TV shows and stuff make fun of, you know, like kids learning instruments and they just sound terrible when they're learning and hey you know you get better but um that's what this game is so half the fun and it's just when i play this game and i'm playing along with a song like i just hear the uh, like i can't quite get the notes right um and it's just just off kilter enough even if you do well and it's really kind of funny it's hard not to laugh so let's get into it um the, we have our nice big menu here we've got play on the left We've got our collection on the lower left. Uh, we got a quit here. We've got um, a free play where you can just kind of jam freely. You've got this baboon thing, which I haven't gotten to unlock anything there just yet. Um, and then you got your credits and whatnot. And I do want to go into settings really fast because there are a few accessibility settings. One in particular that I found very helpful. Uh, if I go into accessibility settings here, so you can do things like turn off some of the graphic effects, you can, you know, the screen shake or like colors and things like that. Uh, there's nice descriptions for what each one of these accessibility features does. The one that I enabled, unfortunately, it gets rid of some of the character during gameplay, some of the animations and stuff, which are kind of funny. They have this sort of like, I don't know, like Monty Python kind of goofy humor behind it. Behind it. Um, but I found that the backgrounds were very distract. They're not only distracting, but they made it harder to see the notes. And so you can disable that to where you just have a black background. And 
that is an awesome, awesome thing to have. It would be kind of cool even to have like a slider as well. So maybe if I didn't want to dim it all, or I didn't want to get rid of it all the way, but maybe dip it down to like, you know, 5, 10, 20% and still have it really dark, but you can kind of still see a little bit of the background bleeding through. Um, that could be another really nice thing. So if you still wanted to see those. Um, but I'm super glad it's there because this game, that has made this game much easier for me to play. Um, so yeah, those are your accessibility features. The other thing that I would recommend, um, by default, your mouse is inverted where you're, to me, it just doesn't make sense this way. So when you pull down towards you, you raise pitch. And then when you pull away, you lower the pitch. And that just does not seem right to me. So I switched it to normal, uh, not inverted. Uh, let's play a couple songs, shall we? Now, I will warn you, I'm not going to be able to talk much and play this at the same time because, of course, it's kind of difficult. I, You know, talking and playing rhythm games at the same time? Yeah. So we've got our character screen here. We can choose our character. We've got a whole bunch of locked stuff here. I'm not even sure what some of this stuff is. We've got some stuff over in the upper right-hand corner. All this stuff is locked. I did unlock one trombone. Uh, I started with this one here, but now we've got a silver trombone. So there's a whole bunch of these, apparently, that we need to unlock. But let's go into our song list. And you got your ratings here on the on the left-hand side. So I'm going to go... Let's just do warm-up again, just so you guys can see. This is the first one that they do, and it's basically just a bunch of scales. So again, I'm going to be quiet here, and you'll see the mechanics. It'll just totally make sense once you see it. Um... And like I said, it's really kind of funny because I'm always going to be just a little bit off key. And that's what's funny about this. It is super amusing. Okay, here we go. <laughs> there you go that probably wasn't an s rank quality performance but hey so on basically oh wow it was cool so the way it works is you know you've got your little meter or your little bar on the left and as the notes come from right to left uh you have to of course hit them and hold them on on the timing and I don't even really pay attention to the words because I'm too busy watching the left side of the screen, but you see your tromboner, as they call them, a uh, little gag there, but um, you see them performing and it kind of, there's all these words that come up like, you know, telling you how well you hit, you hit your notes. So yeah, we got that. Um, and if you hold notes too long, uh, without breathing, you will run out of breath. Uh, I haven't really done that in actual gameplay yet, but it can happen. I messed around with that in free play a little bit. So let's do ball game. We'll do, I want to try to get another S rank. I can't seem to get this one up to an S. I've only got an A. So let's do one more song here. <clears throat> okay. Ha <laughs> ha 
So I'm, you know, I was definitely a little bit off kilter there, but it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Damn it! Only still got an A. I can't get. I cannot break into that S rank. I'm just not quite getting it good enough. Well, whatever. We still get some more coins and whatever. So, or more toots as they call them. Let's do another song. I won't. I won't spend a lot of time on it. Um, let's do. This one you guys should recognize. Let's see if I can get up a higher score. And then I'll show you some of the other mechanics. Or I'll show you some of the other weird stuff that's going on in this game. So on the surface, it's just an innocent little rhythm game. This is so dumb. Yeah, that didn't go too well. I don't know if the, <laughs> some of those notes are pretty fast. I'm. Yeah, I, I cannot get out past a B on that one. Th there's some. See, some of those. There were several notes, and you still had to do the little waver kind of up and down on the sustained notes. So, yeah, that one is kind of tricky, not going to lie. All right, so let me go back, and let me show you. So, we've got more money. Let's go into our collection. You see, we got a bunch of cards here, because I've, play I've played all the songs at least once so far in this game. I've only got, let's see, probably one, two, let's see, these are used, I guess, so we got, like, I've already had these, but I've turned them into something, so we've got, I need to get about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards, so we have, um, toots, which is number here, and then on the right, below that you have turds, which are basically turn duplicate cards, uh, you can cash those in, and those give you these turd points, which, yes, that's what they call them. But we're gonna go ahead and, yeah, let's do another, let's, uh, here, let's do... We'll just do seven of them here. Oi, that, that dumb air horn. Alright, we got, and they're like baseball cards. You get these weird little, some of them are like characters or famous tromboners or trombonists. I don't know. I don't know who they would be, so I don't know if they're real or if they're made up. Couldn't tell you. And some of them are supposedly music, but I haven't unlocked any songs yet, so I'm not quite sure how that works. Okay, we've got some other like mouthpiece thing. We got a bunch of other cards. We we still want to get as many cards as we can 
because even if we get duplicates, it'll be nice because we can turn them into other stuff. Hot dog. Oh, we haven't got one of those yet. Okay, that's a new one I haven't gotten. Okay, we got a base clef. Okay. Oh, that air horn. I think what really made me hate the air horn is, yes, it's obnoxious, but the super o overuse of it in modern, like, YouTube culture or whatever, um, you know, YouTube, TikTok, whatever you want to, you know, just blurring it for no apparent reason. I just, I've grown to kind of hate it. Okay. Hopefully I'm getting, all right. So yeah, we've got one, two, three, four missing now. So now that we've done stuff, if I click this thing in the bottom here, I summon the demon. <laughs> He's back! So he wants certain cards. And if I do that, he'll give me stuff. I get a chest, and it's gonna give me something. Little fiery demon here. I love the little cartoon demon. It's kind of like your typical, like, crossroads demon type of thing. Alright, so now we gotta bash the hell out of this, uh... This chest here. And that was a, a couple of the other accessibility things. So, like, you can adjust, you can get rid of this flashing. You can also require fewer clicks of the chest. You know, because you have to hit it a hundred times. Alright, ooh, okay. Alright, we got a red trombone. Alright, so, there we go. Um... Let's do one more. I want to see if you'll give me something other than, other than different trombones. I, I have no idea. Let's see if I... I'll let you pause and read that if you want. Whatever. Alright, let's do it again. I love the sinister music. You know, like I said, on the surface, oh, just this little innocent rhythm trombone game. No. We want to be the best tromboner in the world, and we got to make deals with demons. There is some lore with baboons I don't quite understand just yet. And we're going to bash the hell out of this chest. 10, 9, 8, 10, 6, 4, 3, 2, 2, 1. Boom! What do we get? Ah, okay. We get a blue one. Oh, I like blue. Yeah, let's do blue ones. I like the blue. Okay. So, we've done that. We wasted a few more cards, so we need to get more of those. Now, if I go to the baboon thing, which I don't quite understand just yet. I don't know how they factor in. Can't do anything here, but if I click on this, it's like this locked... There's like these four corner lock things. And I think... Okay, yes, that's... Okay, so... The problem is, is I actually have to get S ranks on at least four of these, because if I click the other corner here, you know, I have that one S rank on the practice thing, but nothing else. So I've got to break all four of these locks, unfortunately, until I can figure out what that mechanic is. So let's do it a couple more songs, and then we'll wrap up the video. But this will give you an idea of just A, what the game is like as far as a rhythm game, and then accessibility, but also just how, you know, not serious it is, and just how weird and goofy it is. So I'm going to try... Now let's do a blue one. And... Ah, yeah, so we don't have anything up here yet. I want to try to find another fairly easy song. Um... I don't remember what this one is. Okay, I got a B on it. Let's find out. Trombone something. I forgot to... I was going to read it aloud and I kind of forgot. I just clicked it. Okay, curtains go up.
Oh, this is longer than I thought it would be. Okay, well, screwed up toward the end there. That one was pretty tough. Okay, I still got a B on it. Still didn't even crack an A. Okay, well, yeah. So, like I said, it's really hard to talk and play at the same time. The other thing that using the mouse on this game, it's easy to control, but at least the way my setup is, I almost feel like if for this game, I need a giant mouse pad or no mouse pad because, you know, I have to keep adjusting up and down and eventually my hand, it, it gets so out of sync with my mouse pad and like it's, my mouse is almost like falling off the mouse pad. I got to hurry up and reset it uh, without trying to screw up the notes too much. So yeah, that one's kind of a doozy. Um, uh, okay, let's do this one. I don't know if I, you'll recognize it. I call it the Tetris theme. Even though, of course, it's not. It was that's just what everyone thinks of it as. Yeah. <laughs> I will never hear this song the same again. I will never hear, I mean, man, you know, I know it's a classical song, and then it was really just made famous, I think, by Tetris, but yeah, now I'll never think of this song the same way ever again. Just really funny. Yes, the Sugar Plum Fairies. All right, I still got a B on that one, so I'm not making any progress towards s rings. Um, oh, okay, so... This one, I, I don't know if I could maybe get an A on there, or maybe get one on this. Um, it works for this game, because it's trombone, but outside of this game, I never remembered or I never knew what this song was called, and I still don't quite know how to say it. Z-A-R-A-T-H-S-T-R-A. Zarathustra? This is, outside of this game, I swear, if I never heard this song again, I would be glad. Just because, not that it's a bad song, but it is so, like, overly cliche at this point. It's ridiculous. So, you'll know immediately when you hear it. And I'll talk about it after the song. But it's just so overused.
papa. Why did he do that? Oh. Wow, I screwed that up. I probably might have had a chance, but I really screwed up part of that. Man, that sucks. Yay! Yeah, I got an A. Yeah, if I wouldn't have screwed up that last part, I might have had a chance. But like I said, that is, it just, you know, whether it's nerdy stuff or just like anytime you want to unveil anything in a commercial, a TV show, a movie, it's just so overused. I'm like, oh God, this song again. Um, maybe that's just me, but yeah, very famous song. Very, very, I don't want to say overused, but you know, maybe. Let us end, let's end with one more and let's end with maybe. Uh, let's do a little bit of maybe some national pride and spirit. Um, so, you know, we'll end with this one. I might have a chance on getting an S rank if I don't screw it up. So this is another one that I should work toward to try to see if I can unlock. Call me to the Super Bowl next year? No, they will not. <laughs> I still got an A. <laughs> Couldn't crack that S rank. So there you go, guys. Uh, really weird game. So the funny thing is, as far as blind accessibility goes, <laughs> the problem is you can't navigate the menus because the only way that I think you really can right now is through the the mouse like you have to point and click there's not really any d-pad or arrow keys to snap between menu options i think you know based on the like the starting and if you know the song um especially as you come in i think you might sort of have a chance there's no fail state so you know, unlike a lot of rhythm games, like, you can play through the entire song, you're still going to be ranked. Um, but if a blind player could get into the song, um, all you do is, you know, it's kind of a pitch thing. You'd have to really get the muscle memory down for how high or low to go. But I think once you're in a song, I think that a blind person could figure out some of the mechanics. Um, it'd be a little harder for sure, but if you knew the song, you might sort of kind of have a prayer. But again, the interface, there's just really no way to navigate it right now. As far as low vision, oh man, I'm just looking up there. I, I was really close. I was really close on that bar to that S rank. Dag nabbit. Um, I really think that it could be made at least partially accessible. Like, it, it would be harder, but I think you would have a shot. 
Anyway, that is Trombone Champ, kind of taking the internet by storm. I get a kick out of it. Right now it's only available on Steam. I don't know if it's going to add controller support or come to other platforms. So, you know, you'll just have to see. But, uh, yeah, another weird rhythm game. And uh, kind of curious to see with, like, the demons and the baboons and whatever. I have no idea what kind of where this sort of craziness is going to go in the future. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79 twitch.tv slash illegally cited illegally cited.com and right here on YouTube. So until next time, I will chat with everybody again later.